Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, I just wanted to drop this new Need for Speed gameplay that PlayStation just released. Uh, day and night gameplay. It's a good 28 minutes, so let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all watch. I'm not gonna do no talking at all. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all probably already seen it, but yeah, again, hope y'all enjoyed. Go to PlayStation Underground, you got Tim and Kristen here. Hey. And we're joined by some special guests from Ghost Games. We're checking out Need for Speed Heat. Uh, we have Riley Cooper, who's creative director on the game. Hello. We also have Mike Harton, who's the narrative designer. Hey, thanks for having me. And then at the controls off mic is, is Mike Geary, producer on the game. So thank you so much for joining us, guys, for a look at the uh, at, at Need for Speed Heat. Mm. Yeah, great to Absolutely. be here. As soon as yeah. we're catching a cutscene right now, uh, we are playing on a PS4 Pro. Uh, but set, set the scene for us a little bit, guys. What, what's going on? Yeah, we got some breaking news here. So this, this first uh, scene is introducing the player to the world uh, that we've created, um, which is Palm City and our cops, which are our primary antagonists in this experience. All right. Yeah, so you're just getting kind of a, the lay of the land. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so Palm City, um, does it have a bit of a crime problem? Is that? Uh, well, street racers gotcha. are, are in town. An epidemic. Yeah. I'm living for the, the, the bottom bit, potato voted best vegetable ever. <laughs> <laughs> Major news, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Controversial. So we have a press conference, assuming uh, the police department's going to really try to crack down on this issue, and that may be a problem for us, the player. That's right. Exactly. So they've created a, a high-speed task force meant to end street racing, essentially. Okay. Oh, gotcha. And then we have a transition uh, straight into gameplay here, which is, which is great. Uh, now, I see we're starting at night here. I, I, presumably, we're kind of like clicking into some some sort of tutorial early sort of you know get your get your bearings uh below you gameplay here um, yes exactly yeah cool. so you know we have like day and night modes in this game yeah. right we do we do and does it affect your racing does it affect sort of the environments around you um it does night is always street racing day is always sanctioned racing mm -hmm. um and so at night you have cops you have traffic Oops. It's a it's a much more hectic experience. I'm gonna say already we we got a cop right behind us, oh, chased yeah. by one cop. Now, do we see any difference in in the behavior between uh, like the police between day and night? Uh, we do. So day cops basically play by the rules. Okay. They're more <laughs> or less what you would expect a, a cop to do. Um, and at night, the cops are kind of in it for themselves a little bit. They're really? Kind of, yeah, they're kind of thrill seekers themselves. And some per personal vendettas and axes to grind. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. And so are they doing, like, pit maneuvers against you? And, and you see, like, a, a mix of some more avant-garde techniques from the cops at night? They're, they're definitely more aggressive. Okay. Yeah, they're That's more aggressive. So I know that, like, you know, the, poli the, the police and, and the pursuit of, of, you know, the law is, has been a really long-running, you know, theme with the Need for, Seed, Speed, Need for Speed series. How does it sort of evolve in, in heat here? Uh, running from the law? Yeah. So, you know, over the time that uh, I've been at Ghost and over the course of the, of the games, the cop, cop's ability to pursue and kind of provide an interesting challenge has evolved. So on uh, on Payback, we made huge strides where the cops were much more capable of keeping up with you on this in an open world, okay. which, is, which is kind of a challenge. Uh, and then on, on this game, we've evolved it further to be a little bit more grounded, where in general, your primary goal is to is to just outrun them. Okay. But you can still battle tactically uh, if there's a good opportunity to maybe knock a cop off your off your trail makes sense i yeah. suppose engaging in any way is i was going to decrease your speed a little bit so you just kind of want to outrun them but and, and health and health okay gotcha yeah so how how significant of a role is like your car's like health and, and durability in this uh it is very significant so when you enter night you know essentially your health is always going down and you're trying to get as much rep as you can before okay. your car wrecks or before you get busted oh, oh speaking of which might be happening here. right now Let's check this out. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Well, sploosh. That's not great. Uh -uh. What did you do? Um. What'd you do to that uh, sweet ass ride? Oh no. You lost the car. He lost the car. No, Shaw. This is on you. You gonna wish you never survived. Who says he did? Oh, oh boy.
another cop? What are we doing here? Sending a message. It is. Wait, wait, stop! Hey, hey, he said... We're on camera back there! Shaw, hold me. Ooh, we got some tension. Yeah. <laughs> So this is how we work now? These crews gotta learn. Try making a mockery of my unit, you're gonna take the fall. Frank, you're smarter than this. You wanna send a message? You need a messenger. <laughs> you, get out of town. If we see you or any of your crew around here again, you're gonna be joining that car. You understand? Get the up. Water. That's what he means. <laughs> exactly. Right, Taking a swim. swim. Yeah. Just a light, brisk swim. <laughs> you can already sort of get a sense of the building storyline there. Yeah, it seems like the law enforcement has had enough, uh, and they have kind of changed their playbook a little bit. They have. But there's still some tension there. Yeah. There is, and they, they were very upset about losing that car. Yeah. So it starts to give you a little bit of a clue Interesting. about maybe what, what their motivation is. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. But in general, as well, you know, cops is what sets Need for Speed apart, having that dynamic. Yeah. So we really wanted to take advantage of that. Yeah. Just casually walking back. Yeah. Hey! What happened, bro? Where the hell's your car? Hey. This is bullshit, Anna. Yeah, I'm out. I I'm going back to Ventura, and I'm taking Richie with me. But we're a crew. Not anymore. It's over. What? You just gonna walk to Ventura? Apparently. Yeah. Yup. It's a short walk. <laughs> it's cars in the water, so. <laughs> uh, You know, public transit. Yeah, yeah, there's that. there is that. So establishing the stakes early on here, then. Exactly, and giving us some insight on the the crew of cops who we'll yeah. see throughout the campaign. So yeah. those three characters, you have uh, Lieutenant Frank Mercer, and then the woman was Officer Eva Torres, okay. and then Danny Shaw was the the first one on the scene. Okay. Uh, and you'll see them throughout the campaign. Awesome. Yeah, how, would you, how um, you know, important would you say the, or how big of a role does the story take take place throughout the campaign? I think it. Uh, there's a good mix here. So we're trying to let gameplay lead the way. Uh, okay. This time, Payback was much more narratively focused. Yeah. Uh, so it's definitely a, a core component of the campaign, but we, we really wanted to make the experience open to okay. let the player choose to play as much of the campaign as they want or, or not, essentially. Okay, you can kind of just opt into as much as you want. Exactly. Take your own time. So we have a leveling system, and you can level all the way uh, to the end of the game without playing much more than this opening Oh, sequence. really? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, it's always nice just to kind of, you know, get the keys, so to speak, and be able to just go in any direction you want. Yeah. But it's also nice to check out the garage. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're, we, is this a, a sort of a, a garage that you come back to recurring? Exactly. Okay. So this is really the home base that you'll you'll be in throughout the campaign. Okay. And the, the introduction that we saw just a few seconds ago at night on the bridge was one of our core uh, narrative campaign characters, and, and that's Anna. Mm -hmm. uh, and then inside the garage now, we're going to meet the character of Lucas. Okay. <laughs> that's enough. a little too much bullshit this early in the day. I hate to do this, but if you're looking for wheels, I got a CID. Cops All right, so now we are the player character. Exactly. So stepping into character selection here. Okay. Which is, a, I think, a new thing for us. We, we haven't had a, a time where you choose a character in a Need for Speed before. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And that, that, that's one of the big differences in narrative this time around. So instead of, you know, we've had in our last two releases um, a silent protagonist okay. that was first person. And then in the uh, in payback, we had really defined characters where we, you know, we basically uh, decided who they were. And in this one, we're we're striking kind of a balance where the character does speak, but you pick them, you customize them, and mostly, you know, their speaking is kind of questions about what's going on. Okay. So we're trying to create space for the player to really inhabit uh, that character. That's awesome. Yeah. But they're good. Why don't you take a look? That's great, and I know that you know. In addition to 
from what I've seen of the game so far, that in addition to being able to choose that sort of character as a starting point, that there's a lot of customization just in terms of, you know, what you want to wear and what kind of mm-hmm. style you have. Mm-hmm. And both, like, because the car is, like, fully customizable, but so is your outfit, right? Exactly. That's awesome. Beamer, you want to go for it? Yeah, I was uh, customizing my character for the first time once we had the feature up, nice and then once choice. I was done with that, I was like, "Well, now I need to style my car." Yeah, yeah, exactly. my car needs to go with my character. Yeah, so it, it's uh, it's kind of an onboarding to kind of self-expression in the game. That's great. Sounds good. And then, what's the relation here between these characters? Is he just a sort of on the up and up, uh, you know, you know, uh, mechanic slash car dealer, or? Yeah, he's a very he's a clean character. Okay. So he's not involved in the illicit activity. Got but it. As you play through the story a little bit more, you'll realize that he it's a it's an area that he's familiar with. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, and so now we're on the way to the first showdown event. So one of the big concepts of this game is having the the speed hunter showdown. Awesome. Uh, which is uh, a sanctioned sanctioned event. Yeah, exactly. Sanctioned event. So. Very, I guess, in a sense, pro street esque. Got it. Uh, okay. We've moved into the daytime, a exactly. little bit different. Yeah, I really love the the vibe of the city and like how different it feels from the nighttime. Um, nighttime just kind of has like this sort of like, you know, a neon drenched, you know, rain slick look to it. And this is just um, much more grounded, but still really cool. So, what is. I get like a, a subtle, like a kind of a Miami vibe. Does this actually take place in like a fictional Florida city? Is that kind of what we're looking at, or? Uh, I think that's that's basically fair. Okay. We, t- we took inspiration from the entire southeastern U.S., okay. but mm-hmm. but Miami was definitely one of, one of the spots. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll see you'll see things that remind you of those areas. Kristen, anything look familiar to you here? Oh, very much so. I grew up in Florida. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <For reference>. Okay. <laughs> you joining us? Nah, man. So now this is an intro- introduction to uh, what we call driving story characters. Okay. So this will be a side quest character you'll meet again throughout okay. the campaign. So driving stories are side quests. Exactly. Okay, yeah. very cool. So, you know, as, oh, Mike was, yeah, as Mike was saying earlier, you don't uh, have to play the campaign, but if you want and you choose to do the side stories too, you can kind of stay in a narratively wrapped experience cool. if you want as well. You can kind of take it both ways. Awesome. I love all the like the hot pink and just yeah. like the aesthetic. Like, what can you say about sort of the yeah, like the aesthetic wrapping of 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 heat in general? So you know, there's a few influences, but you know, we wanted to do something that was uh, felt very modern. Yeah. But then also striking a balance, particularly in the sanctioned events, between something that's kind of kind of big and exciting mm-hmm. but also has kind of a street vibe yeah. to it yeah. so it was, it was kind of threading a needle between those two uh, components oh. nice nice overtook first place there well yeah it looks really great and the, now i know like there's a little bit of interplay between what you do in the daytime and then um how that affects when you click over into you know nighttime what can you say sort of about like the the risk reward of you know those two modes so Day is really about opportunity. Um, you can look on the map, you can see which events are available and you know, make a plan and pick pick the events that you think you can win that also give you the most bank. Yeah. And that is probably the biggest distinction is day's reward is bank. Okay. So you go to day to build up your, you know, your arsenal, your mon- your war chest. And then when you're ready and you've, you've built your car to be exactly what you want it to be, both visually and from a performance perspective, you choose to go to night. Okay. And then night, night is uh, very different because night basically you push it as hard as you can, mm-hmm. but it, it will come to an end. Okay. <laughs> and it's either it's because you made it back to a safe house or your car uh, got wrecked or you were busted. Okay. Just basically how far do you want to push it? How lucky are you feeling? Exactly. Exactly. And so, and then heat works two ways. So the more, the more you race at night, the more your heat goes up. Um, which is bad in a way because it means you're going to get more cop attention, mm. uh, but it also acts as a multiplier on the rep you've earned. So you have this incentive to keep pushing it and an and a, and a, and a, okay. and a incentive to maybe stop. Okay. Um, so every night is kind of that challenge, um, cool. but it's a very different pacing 
Yeah. Um, and so by having day night, it allows players to have experiences that are much more relaxed at their own pace. Like day's a great uh, time to look for collectibles, things like that. Yeah. I was going to say, this map seems pretty broad. Like, how would you say it compares to, to previous Need for Speed games? It's, you know, s since uh, Ghost has had the, the franchise, so four, four games now, this will be the fourth. This is the densest road network we've ever had. Okay. And I think it's... Uh, the most drivable world we've ever had. One of the things that, you know, we've always known, but we just did a better job with this time is that dead stops uh, really close to the road tend to produce uh, not the best driving experience. Okay. So we've been really aggressive about pushing dead stops away from the sides of the roads. So you can really get into a groove. We've also used, um, uh, you know, real world uh, road design rules. Okay. Which help with readability. So when you're driving, you can anticipate turns in general. Ah, all right. They're wide enough. The, the roads are wide enough. Just every every detail that contributes to a better driving experience. We've we've really done a, a the best job we've ever we've ever done. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. You could say that. All right, we're seeing this character again. Yeah. So this is the meeting between this Anna character and the player character, and you find that uh, she's related. She's the sister of the garage owner. So that's oh, okay. kind of our connection to the garage through through Anna. Okay. I do like her hair. Okay. Rookie's got confidence. How about a chance to prove you're more than just talk? Oh boy. Let's do it. Give me your phone. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I'm Anna. There's only one way to make a name. She's so cool. Yeah. And she's the guide into the the night half of the game. So we have Lucas, who kind of introduces you to day events and day okay. characters, uh, and then Anna, who shows us everything night. Nice. Okay, cool. I like her. Car and they're siblings. Too. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know these games have a, a large arsenal of cars. Which one would you guys say is your favorite? Yeah. Hmm. It changes. Yeah. But uh, I, I'm into the R34, GTR R34 right now. I got to see some. We did a reference gathering trip in Florida, mm -hmm. and uh, we happened upon a, a group of guys who were had almost a warehouse full of Jeez. imported R34s, and they're they're quite impressive in person. Wow. Yeah. So that's my that's my current favorite, I would say. Mm, I'm a fan of the one of the starter cars, the 180SX, mm -hmm. and with one of the features we've introduced this year, engine swaps, we can kind of keep that car throughout the entire campaign. Oh, oh really? Wow. Wow. Level it up. So yeah. if you really fall in love with a certain you know car model, you can just sort of follow it through and soup it up, or or you can follow the new shiny thing if you want. So <laughs> that's exactly, awesome. yeah. And then how would you say, you know, for me, like I've always been a little bit more on like the arcadey side of, of racing games. And I think that a lot of Need for Speeds um, kind of cater to whether you're like a gearhead or, or more arcadey. But how do you feel like Heat um, caters to, you know, either side of the coin as far as what type of racing fan you are? So our, our default handling model um, leans towards drift as you see Mike yeah. taking these corners with a, with a kind of a default car. Um, and it's very accessible. We, it's, we call it our hero, heroic driving model. Okay. Um, but then as you progress, you unlock more and more parts. So one of the things Rep does for you is it uh, you know, kind of lets people know who you are. So then you have, they'll, they're willing to sell mm. um, the better okay. parts to you because it's kind of a, it's a tight market because yeah. all the racers are in town. Cool. Um, and so as you unlock better and better parts, you gain the ability to equip parts that will make your car handle in a more extreme drip, ah, drift okay. fashion or a more extreme grip fashion. Okay. And then the, each of those require more skill, Yeah. but they're opt-in. So you can beat the game with the default handling model, just kind of right down the middle. Um, or if you really want to set the fastest race times, you go extreme grip. Okay. If you want to set the highest drift scores, you go extreme drift. Okay. So, so the player has a lot. Yeah, exactly. The player has a lot of agency. That's awesome. Yeah. I also got to say, we saw it a second ago, but I love the transition into nighttime, like mm -hmm. the sort of like camera flipping upside uh, down. Yeah. And, uh, that was great. Okay. So I saw there was a there was a prompt for a second that there was a billboard nearby. Is that is that sort of a side quest of something you can be doing? It is, so uh, smashing billboards is kind of a, a Need for Speed <laughs> yeah. staple. Yeah. Little unruly Just behavior. Just confirming, making yeah. sure that's still there. <laughs> it is. It is. Excellent. 
<laughs> so yeah, where are we off to next? So Anne is showing us, uh, it's essentially an invitation to our first night event. So she's okay. going to show us uh, the night scene and give us a chance okay. to prove ourselves. Cool. And you know, speaking of nighttime and the cops being a little bit more uh, aggressive, I I understand that you know cops have more than just cars at their disposal when you know your heat level raises enough. Like, what what else do they throw at you? Um, so we have spike strips. Okay. Um, uh, we have uh, uh, a helicopter. Really? If okay. a helicopter's on you, it's very hard to get away. Yeah, no kidding. Um, we have something we call rhinos, which which are essentially oh. rhinoceroses. Swat. The animal I'm familiar. It's <laughs> we ca they don't look like okay. that though. <laughs> they look like SWAT trucks. Okay, cool. And they tend to be driven head on right at you. Okay. Ah. Yeah. So yeah. So you just take a turn, and suddenly there's a rhino, and it ruins your ruins your race, and you gotta adapt on the fly. It'll take a chunk of health off you for okay. sure. I love that countdown clock. Like it's just it's great design. Mm. Really stylish. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I see, I see the aesthetically, like I just, I love, I love the sort of night vibe here. Yeah. Um, but I also appreciate that you can opt in and out, and that you know you can kind of control whether you want to go to one or the other, and and balance things out that way. Um, now I know that usually you have to, you know, once you bank your, you sort of gain enough points and 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 cash that you kind of have to bank it or you lose it all. Uh, does that mechanic work similarly to previous Need for Speeds, or? Um, yeah, Rivals featured a, a similar mechanic yeah. where you could, you, you, it's a similar dynamic. And actually, one of the things we like about this is by having day, now that intensity has a has a chance to kind of subside and okay. you can kind of take it a little bit easier during day and kind of drive at your own pace. Mm. Um, so we have, you know, we feel like we have, we've, by adding day, this intensity level is much more manageable. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can have longer play sessions. Yeah, I, I like the uh, that the tension of trying to get to a safe house mm. uh, is something I really liked about Rivals, and I think that's cool that that'll be in, uh, represented in heat. Um, and so the, your heat level again, so it's sort of like almost like a multiplier. Is that right? Uh, it is. Okay. It is. So right now, you know, it, you can see up there he's it's, uh, he's got no heat. Okay. Uh, but it will start to climb. He should have some after that race. Okay. Um, and we'll yeah. see some behavior changes from the cops. <laughs> you will. Such, okay. You will. Much more intense pursuits and faster cars, more aggressive maneuvers. Awesome. Yeah. Check it out. You see anything you like? All of them. Think there'll be a for <laughs> race. Nice. I will right. take that one. You got a little bit of gold before they give you a And that car too, please. Who's they? The League. Oh my God. They've been around for years. Showdown so floods cool. this place with new blood. They surface and check out the talent. Once oh. you're in, it's access to everything. Best cars, races, parts. You wanna know why we're here every single nice. night? Yeah. That's your answer. This is a typical Friday night for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you believe it. So, I mean, we've been ch we've been checking out the, oh, this is cool, get a sense of the, uh, the, map, yeah. the map a little bit and how oh, wow. expansive it might get. Um, it's great. How how dramatically does you know sort of one area um, vary from, from the other? Yeah, uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of character in the world. We really that was the goal, is to have distinct regions of the world have their own identity. And uh, yeah, it's even on that level, it's the the best world we've ever built. Excellent. Yeah. Too bad. It's having fun. You can keep racing if you want. It's your choice. Just remember, if you're gonna get in trouble, don't get caught. It kinda ruins the whole name-making thing. Uh, and then you know we've been focusing primarily on on some of like the the more single player focused stuff. But how does what is the sort of multiplayer element uh, and any other parts of like the online experience you want to talk to? Uh, sure. There's there's uh, three main components. We'll see if I can remember all three. The the first one is you can just you can go online. You can join an online server, and then when you're in the world between events, other players will be in the world as well. Mm -hmm. Um, the other is that if you're on this uh, on a server with other players and you start a race, you have the option of inviting everyone on the server to join your race. Okay. And then we have a, a new feature, which is a crew feature. So that garage you saw, uh, when you go back to it, 
it'll be populated with other players oh, in your crew. Okay. And you'll see their character, you'll see their car. Have a social space type, type Much vibe. more of a social vibe. Yeah. And then in the world, there's events that are set up to be just crew competition. Okay. Oh. Um, and so you'll be able to you know, try to be the set the fastest times in your crew on any of those events. It's nice. awesome. The, oh. the, the good thing about it being, you know, kind of an asynchronous feature is every time you log in, your crew will be there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Made our way back to first tier. Yeah, nice. Let's see if Mike's driving. Let's see if he can hang on to it. He's <laughs> doing pretty well. Spike yeah. the rain. I'd bet on Mike. <laughs> I'd bet on Mike. We'll see though. It is it is live software. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, so this is. Um, I also see that there's a map in the lower left, just sort of helping you chart your um, your your course as well. Yeah. Um, which is which is really handy. I, I feel like when you race, do you tend to use the the mini map much, or do you try to to focus on just what's in front of you? Um, the mini map is a you know just to make sure that you're on the right course. Okay. It's basically a backup tool in an event. Yeah, it seems like there's definitely enough cues to, to stay on course just by looking at the the track itself. That's the goal. That's the goal. Oh, nice. nice work. Okay. Well, very cool. Is there you know uh, one final you know story mission uh, or driving mission or anything else we want to check out before we we say goodbye? Oh, we're gonna oh, maybe we're gonna try, to, to try to to push the case. limits yeah. a little bit. Push it. See if we can get the attention of the of the local law enforcement. So you can Hello, see them. Mr. Cops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can Lord. see him on the mini map. He's heading straight for him. Okay. Oh, here we go. So if you want to antagonize the police, Hello. <laughs> here's what to do: follow that mini map. And so their goal is just to, especially at night, just ram you and do damage and get you get you know. Put Box you out of you service, in. basically. Exactly. Yeah. They want to end your night on okay. their terms. Gotcha. And the penalty for that being that, you know, anything that you had accrued, is it a big hit to the, the sort of like... We don't take everything. Okay. Um, because we don't want, you know, we don't want you to feel like you didn't get something for yeah. your time, your play time, but it's much less. Okay. So if you, you know, you lose your, basically you lose your multiplier. Okay, got so it. So you get a base level of rep instead of, you know, times two, times three. That's good. Yeah. And any tips oh, for... Oh, just went up. Like, my instinct when I'm getting chased by the cops uh, almost in any game is, like, wait till they're next to me, and then I slam on the brakes and just hope that it's, like, an action movie and they spin out of control and, like, That's go a ahead. tactic. Mm, uh, that what? works well in intersections, yeah. Oh, yeah. intersections. That's a good good, good tip. Any other pointers for how to, how to shake the cops? It depends on what heat level you're at. Like, at a low heat... It's really good to hit a straight road and kind okay. of outrun these low-level cops. Mm -hmm. That that tactic expires at higher heat levels. Okay. Got it. One one uh, very good tactic is if you if you knock them really hard, if they pull up beside yeah. you and you knock them really hard, they will lose control nice. for a few seconds, Ooh. and that can be the difference. <laughs> okay. All right. Gotcha. Well, we have successfully escaped. Yeah. We well, it. well done, Mike. If the controls there. Um, so yeah, absolutely. So Riley, Mike. Um, thank you so much for joining us on an episode of PlayStation Underground. So this is Need for Speed Heat. It is coming out on November 8th, so not that much longer to wait now. No, no, it's right around the corner. Yeah, and thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time. Awesome, thanks. Thank you. Critic Michael does life and expect to come out victorious because at the end of the day, just know that I'm a somebody. You, on the other hand, are a nobody. Thousands of people watch yeah, my man, this life your ass up. game critic on a daily basis. Does hey. that apply to you?